I'm going to do um, a laid steady rest uh, from Hemingway's kits, which is what I did the um, nailing tool with, oh, same company. Uh, it's arrived today. Um, I actually ordered it on the 30th of the 11th, but it's just turned up today. Uh, how much? What's it cost? I'll fold that bit down. So, yeah, Hemingway's kits. You can't see me address, but... Uh, so, yeah. That's the invoice. Total, uh, £74.90. So, it was £65.40. £9.50 delivery, which is uh, next day, 24 hours, signed for. And sure enough, he did want it signing for. Well, I took a photograph of. Um, but £9.50. Now, I suppose it's not a lightweight thing, it's a heavy ish box. But I ordered it on the 30th, and it was a 24 hour delivery. Postal strike, innit? Parcel force on strike. So, um, I'm going to do a build on it, but I haven't even opened the box and I, I'm going to do an unboxing in front of you and I hate people unboxing stuff and like really slow and that, but I'm going to do it because I'm quite excited about it and that it's not one I'm going to make out of my own metal, it's a kit I've bought. So let's have a look and see what's in the kit. We'll get a Stanley knife, I'll bring camera across and we'll have a look at it together and you'll see what I see okay right okay so there we go you can see the box, the box has not been opened I'm very careful sticking the blades through these. Okay, let's see what we've got. Some packing material. Throw that over there. Set of drawings. Page one of five. Uh, double sided. Some pictures. There's instructions with this one. With that nailing tool, there was no instructions. They were just the drawings. Nope, this is the right one because it's mentioned a 254 here. I did order it for a Super 7. I want to say, look at the drawings that's clipped on here. in colour wow full set of drawings all bits what you have to machine looks like quite a lot of work <coughs> right <coughs> why did I buy this why didn't I make me own like everybody else does and I were planning on doing that and getting some steel, but after buying that steel for our Richard's car uh, that come to £40, I thought, by the time I bought all the steel, because I, I, I haven't probably got the stock I'd need to make it, uh, and if I had to buy all the steel to do it, it would have probably come to £50 or £60, I'm guessing, or more. Trouble is, you see, I've said this before, you want a piece of metal that long, 
uh, but they only sell it in that long, and it might be a tenner, but you only want three quid's worth. There you go. But the, the, what's nice about this is <coughs> it's got a casting, which we will see in a moment, I'm hoping. Lovely. So, some drawings to start with. A folder. Have a quick drink. Somebody did say that this uh, threaded rod were a bit tacky. Just galvanised steel threaded rod. Been nice if it'd have been stainless, wouldn't it? Piece of bar. A bit of cardboard here. Lay everything out on. Lots of bubble, bubble wrapper. Two pieces of what looks like possibly three eighths or more. Steel bars. Some bolts, countersink, socket head, and then one large bolt, I guess that's for holding it together. Some heavy stuff. <clears throat> Biggish piece, looks like an inch. And that, I've got a clue what all these are for. Not a iota. Oh, some brass. Yeah, people had said about this. Brass or, foot or bronze. It, ideally it'd be bronze, but that ain't bronze, that's brass. They said that they suspected it would be. Uh, I've got some bits of bronze, but I don't think I've got out. This is, I suppose, to make the four fingers out of some more steel. There. Another bag. Lots of bags. Oh, some flat stock. Little piece of flat bar and a bigger piece of flat bar. Probably I've got something like that in my stock. Right, some castings. So let's have a look. What's that? See, all this is all going to have to be milled. I'm guessing that what goes on bed. I'm assuming. Don't know. And yeah, this ain't even split. So this is the main casting, which, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's nicely made. Obviously all drilling to do, there'll be lots of milling to do, and then I guess it's gonna have to be cut through to make some sort of a hinge idea. So you saw it first. That's a Hemingway's kit. Large-ish, they reckon it'll hold 129 mil round stock. I doubt I'd ever want out that big, but I just knew that the Myford one wouldn't have done these, which I've just done for our Richard, you'll have seen the previous video. That's 65 mil, uh, and I know for a fact that wouldn't have gone in. Okay, move the box. So there we go. That's what comes in the kit. I suppose you see, if, if you people make these out of a ring of steel, but I mean that's a, a, a cast aluminium. It's, it is alloy. It's not. It's not cast iron. But yeah, 
it's going to look nice, isn't it? Done and painted in a casting. It's going to look a lot nicer than just welding some rings together. So yeah, I'm assuming this lot's all fingers and everything and there must be something to make for the hinge. Now one guy on model engineering forum, I think it were on there, it might not have been, but it might have been a YouTube comment had said that he started making one of these and he milled the hinge wrong and it, it, it told me to be careful. See, I don't know whether you mill half this down or, or cut through half of that for hinge mechanism. I don't know how it works. Yeah. But we'll have a good read at drawings and have a good look. So basically uh, that was just an introduction into what we're starting of and what we're going to do next. Okay, I'll leave it at that guys because just a, sh a few minute video and I'll, I'll post this up probably tonight um, and then I'll make a start of it. Oh, the other thing is um, the four fingers uh, are brass and they come to points for working on your materials so if I wanted to steady that you'd bring the four fingers up and touch it. I also fancied if I can get steel to do it of making one with four of these. Now, I got this off my mate and he's got quite a few, so he's going to get me four, well, three more. Um, and these are brand new bearings. Roller. Well, they're either roller or cage ball races. But very dinky. Um, and it, I was going to make a set of fingers with rollers on as well. But somebody had already remarked that if you were going to do something of a small diameter, and you brought four of them together, they might touch each other. Uh, so you, you might not be able to do small stock, like something like that. The bearings would probably touch each other. Um, so my idea was to make a set with brass fingers and a set with the roller bearings or the little ball cage bearings. Not sure yet though, we'll see. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe and then you'll see me building this. I don't know how many parts it'll be over. I'll try not to make it eight parts like the knurling tool. I really will. But that had a lot of little mini bushes and all sorts in it. There were a lot of work on that and a lot of work on the rotary table uh, shaping the metal as you'll have seen if you watched him. Um, if you haven't, go back. If you ever want to make a sensitive knurling tool from Hemingway's kits, I built one. And I haven't seen anybody else's on YouTube that have built one on a guy taking one apart to blacken it. Uh, and I've looked on YouTube over and over and I cannot find one of these that anybody's built. So I might be a first, I don't know. But it's going on tonight as a starter. Thanks for watching guys. Give it a, a thumbs up. Cheers.